All right, this is After Effects, the Luma Mat. And here are some of the things you can do with the Luma Mat. Here you can see I just have some uh, regular footage behind the Luma Mat as it plays. It's a cell phone moving around. Uh, after that one, I also have a uh, Luma Mat that I use one of our Jump Back Library backgrounds. There you can see it's kind of like a rotating uh, planet over there that's playing. It's pretty short, as you can see. Uh, but you also got to watch out for the blacks because obviously that might bleed in with your background a little bit there. Uh, after that one, I kind of did a burn away title or a burn in title that you can see it kind of bleeds onto the screen in a nice cool manner there um, and then I'll even show you how in After Effects you can even kind of do a creepy title that kind of uh, kind of looks like this uh, where you can make a uh, use a, a textured layer to create a creepy title as you can see there and then last but not least I will even show you how you can also make your uh, Luma Mac kind of zoom in on your footage just like this to achieve a full screen picture like that so it is coming at us in a Z depth and actually making it now so we can see the whole image uh, just like that so some pretty cool effects you can do with the Luma Mat. now let's show you how to do them. all right so now that you actually seen what the Luma Mat can do let's actually uh, do some Luma Mat effects here ourselves so I'm gonna start out with some uh, video footage what I always do here uh, I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to bring any piece of footage in here. So that way, uh, and I always strongly suggest doing this, and I know I've probably told you in lab a bunch of times already. But I'm going to drag this, um, oops, looks like it's going to take a moment. I'm going to drag this onto the Make Composition icon. And there it is, it opens up a timeline uh, with exactly the same size and settings that I want. Remember, you can always go up here and check up your composition settings. And there I see this is a 2K footage, 2048 by 1152 with the proper frame rate. And I don't want it to be that long. I'm just going to make it 10 seconds long. And I'm probably going to change the comp uh, name right up there to uh, Luma Mat. There we go. And then now that I'm done with that footage, I can even erase it. So it's gone. All right, so to do the Luma Mat effect here, first got to start out with obviously a title. And we're going to leave this title over here in a white color. Okay. And I'll make it so it has no outline on it. There we go. It's just a white color. And I'm simply going to type up Luma Mat. There it is. It's kind of small, but I'm just simply going to make it bigger by uh, selecting my arrow tool again. And then I'm just going to make it a lot bigger. Even bigger. Okay. Font style or anything doesn't matter at this time. But there's my Luma Mat title. And then you want to put in some background footage on this bad boy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pull this uh, cellular phone footage on there. So there you can see what it looks like. And um, then I'm simply going to go right down here to the toggle switches and modes. This is the hardest thing to remember. You can either click on this one, and mainly what we're looking for is the track mat right there. Either that or you can click on these little guys over here, which will make... Uh, make this section right here longer. Uh, but majority of the time I just hit toggle switches and modes, which will bring up the track mat right there. And then you can just simply, sometimes I even do it by trial and error. You know, if you did Luma Mat inverted, whoops, that's wrong. So you can just go Luma Mat and Bamo, that's right. Now if I was to play it forward, you should see that the background is moving. There is some movement in there and our Luma Mat is effectively achieved. And just so you know, I do want you to notice a couple things when you do switch it to a Luma Mat is that you might notice right over here that these, uh, these dots go uh, black and white. Uh, and you'll see as soon as I turn it off, they turn to normal. And uh, if you don't see the top layer, it's probably because the eyeball is off. But you might notice that the eyeballs over here, you'll see as soon as I turn it to a Luma Mat, one of the eyeballs fills in, the other one goes blank. And then these little dots also appear. So don't be alarmed if you see that. And just so you know, this is also how you can kind of create your own kind of creepy title effect here. For instance, I have my creepy title written up in white again. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this grunge gray this grunge gray and throw it on down there. So there you can kind of see it again. I'm going to do the Luma Mat effect here. And now you can kind of see there's your kind of, uh, you know, cracked sidewalk or texture kind of bleeding through your title. If I wanted to now, I could just simply uh, make sure I have my sidewalk layer selected. Maybe go up to a little color correction maybe some uh, brightness and contrast and then I can really increase the brightness and the contrast on this so it looks like a lot more uh, jaggedy type title here that's a little more customizable see now it looks a little more grungy and gritty there uh, that you can even click on the background and move it around to give different letters kind of a, a different type of style or texture depending on how you see fit but you can play with the parameters on your own and figure out your own kind of uh, title in your own different way
And in the same way, you can even use this for a melt away, either a transition for a title that comes on or a title that's going off. Here again, I'm going to be using the uh, Riot Gear kind of ink bleed. So if we were to take a look at this, this is how this uh, this uh, effect looks. I don't know why it's no, it's red there, right there, or why that's happening. But anyways, that's what it kind of looks like. Kind of going crazy on me. And what I'm going to do is, since this is the cutout layer, I'm going to put this on top. Because remember, that's what's going to be revealing the title. So currently, you cannot see it. So remember, we still want that Luma mat, okay, for the white title. And you'll see now if I scrub it forward, it's going to bleed on my title there. So just like that. So it's a neat way that we can even transition titles on and off there, okay. But as you can see, once it finishes, it will kind of take that title away. Okay, so you might have to maybe split the layer. And, uh, you know, if I was to even do something like this, I could just go split layer, and then I have that on top, and that'll keep on going forever. So, there it is melting on, and then it's staying on. Okay. So, I'm sorry, you can go up to edit and split layer if you want to find more split layer. Shift, Apple D is the hotkey. And one other last little neat effect you can do with this Luma mat is uh, we can actually zoom into the scene if we wanted to. Uh, we could simply toggle our switches and modes back again. And maybe I'll make my Luma mat down here 3D. And what you're going to see is if I actually zoom this title forward, I can actually make it so the title is directly on the screen, revealing my whole image in the background. I'm going to have to pull up the position of that there and maybe zoom in a little bit more forward. And this might take a little tweaking, I ain't going to lie. So get right on that M. Okay, and just like that, now I've revealed the whole scene. So um, I forgot to put my first position keyframe in. That's okay, because I'm going to hit my first position keyframe on that. I'll go backwards a little bit. And then if you uh, twirl it back up and twack back down, you can actually hit reset. And that will reset it back to what it was. And now I just have to move my title in the middle there. And now this will look like this. So zoomed it right on into my title. Thank you for watching my After Effects tutorial on the Lumamat.